Hello and welcome to the DRL Sim Academy. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the graphics settings within the DRL simulator. We believe setting up the graphics properly is one of the most important things you can do in order to have the best possible experience in the sim. First, to access the graphics settings, navigate the main menu by clicking and dragging your mouse to the right, then click on Settings. From there, select Graphics. For the best quality or visual effects, we recommend using the Detect Quality button. The DRL Sim will analyze your system specs and provide the best quality picture without sacrificing FPS or frames per second below 30. If you want to fine tune the settings, you can manually lower the profile from the recommended to one of the several presets, lowest, low, medium, high, and ultra. Setting the graphics to ultra will provide the highest quality graphics. The Sim will provide a warning if your FPS falls below the threshold what we consider a minimum for a good experience. If that's the case, turn down your graphics to the next lowest setting. Additionally, you have the option to turn off specific graphics processing elements, such as motion blur, anti-aliasing, and more. When it comes to performance and speed, highest FPS is the most important factor. So when racing or setting leaderboard times, you'll want the computer to process the maximum amount of frames per second to allow for faster reaction time and fly better lines. In order to achieve maximum performance, we recommend setting the graphics settings to lowest, keep advanced rendering to on, set vSync to off, and set the FPS limit to 1000. If you are serious about climbing the leaderboards, along with setting your graphics for maximum performance, we also recommend a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor capable of 120 hertz or more. Having a monitor with high refresh rate means that your monitor will be able to display more frames per second to match the higher frames produced in the sim with lower graphics settings. That's it! Play around with the settings that are most comfortable for you. See what gives your particular machine the most FPS, or maybe find a middle ground that gives decent FPS and good visual fidelity. If you need additional support, there's a link in the description below to send us a message. We're happy to help. Thanks for choosing the DRL Sim, and be sure to watch the next video in the DRL Sim Academy, where we take it one step further, getting you one step closer to flying like a pro. Till next time.